Hi, welcome to this tutorial on approximating the binomial distribution to a Poisson distribution. Now the binomial and Poisson distributions give approximately the same probabilities if certain conditions are met and this helps us in simplifying calculations. Now the aim of this tutorial is to establish those conditions. Now I have drawn the graph of a binomial distribution shown in red for n equaling 10 and p equaling 0 0.4. And the number of successes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. are drawn on the horizontal axis. And the corresponding probabilities can be read on the vertical axis. Now the mean of a binomial distribution is given by NP. And so the mean for a binomial distribution with n equal to 10 and p equal to 0 0.4 is going to be 4. Simply 10 times 0 0.4. So I've drawn a Poisson distribution with mean lambda equal to 4 in blue. Now you can see that for the two probability graphs they do not match up. You can see that for instance this part of the binomial probability is more than the Poisson probabilities. Now if I change the value of n say to 20 but keep p at 0 0.4 these are the resulting probability graphs. As you can see the probabilities are still different the graphs are not similar. Extending this to n equals 30 there is no similarity. What happens if I make p smaller say 0 0.1 and keep n equal to 30? Much better. A reasonably good similarity. Now keeping p fixed at 0 0.1 what I'm going to do now is just change n to 50. Better still. And finally when n equals 60. Very good. So it looks like as n gets bigger and p gets smaller the two distributions become similar. Let us try reducing p to 0 0.05 with n equal to 50. Very good and it just gets better as n increases to n equals 60 and so on. So there comes an optimum point that we can approximate the binomial distribution to the Poisson distribution and this is summarized in this statement. If x is distributed binomially np where n is greater than or equal to 50 and p is less than or equal to 0 0.1 then x is distributed as a Poisson distribution with parameter or mean NP and that distribution is approximate. Now that brings us to the end of this tutorial but in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how we can use this particular concept to simplify calculations.